What's up, what's up? Gons here. Just wanted to show you guys some new features that are really nice in Serato's 2.1.0 beta. Shout out to SFT Beats for the update on the new features, which I have on the screen here. So one of the most apparent new features is going to be the ability to add as many effect slots as needed to any pad, deck, or track, which is awesome. So what's new is this little plus sign right here. It's in this little area right here. So now shout outs to my homies, Dalla Habibi, Snoozy and Yon in the building. So typically we would have an effect here, the one, two, and three. But now with this plus sign, I have one, two, three, four. Now I have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I can keep going, which is really nice. Um, and again, you can add it to individual tracks. You can add it to the master of that. We also have it on the master here as well, so you can make some crazy chains. Um, I'm hoping, as far as being able to save these uh, preset chains, um, I'm sure that'll be coming up soon. Um, you have the ability to cut, copy, and paste, and delete effect slots, meaning I'm going to put dub echo here at half. I can copy and paste this here paste this and keep pasting that effect which is going to sound probably ridiculous on there so we have that that's awesome kind of waiting for that um ability to rearrange effect slots by dragging and dropping between meaning so i'm going to put flanger here if i want to move this I just grab it, move it over, and it keeps this intact as well. So if you just want a certain workflow, you're good. Same thing on this side here. We'll just do phaser on this end. So say I want I want that percentage right there. Copy, paste, paste. Say this one I want to have a little delay. Bring that down and I'll swap it over here and they switch places. That's nice. Okay. That's cool if you just, if you're OCD and you want certain things a certain way with that. Um, another cool thing is you can bring a track to the audio section. Let me just grab a, you know what? I can try to grab the same sample. See if I can move it over. Nope. Let me get another track from the homie. Put drop it in here as an audio track. So normally we have this that we can work with. You can adjust here, cut, splice, do whatever you need to do. But now I can right click, create new sample from deck. So if say you had this whole thing playing and you want to flip something, create sample deck from clip. Create sample deck from clip. You're going to get this new thing that pops up right here. And then it puts it as a sample here that you can clip and mess with and do all of that, all that fun stuff. So you can do that as well, which is great. They put it as option appears when right clicking on an audio clip, which that's what we did. Right click. Create new sample deck from clip. This will instantly send the selected audio clip from an audio track into a sample deck inside the scene player to be chopped up in sequence. That's actually really nice. I like that. I like that. So they also did a, a couple little changes as far as certain little issues that were popping up on there. So just wanted to make this quick video. Just wanted to uh, show you guys what's going on in this new beta. Again, if you decide to get the beta, um, you can head over to serato.com, go to the Serato Studio forums area where you can download the beta from there. 
Also make sure you have the original version um, so you can make two copies just in case you want to mess with it and still retain, you know, your uh, fully fledged version there. So this is Gons. Peace.